and the internets have been having a lot of fun with Jigman Freud over the last couple weeks. I gotta adjust that mic so you can see my my pretty face. Oh, my pretty face. It is the Wednesday edition of our big program, and um, holy smokes, holy smokes, holy smokes. We have got some stuff we've got to tell you about. <laughs> Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, there are some psychos out there in the world. And apparently they're in the fighting uh, business. Um, I want to give a quick recap to this last week. Uh, we'll do that in this segment. We had a fight this last week, and we kept it kind of quiet because I wanted to see what would go on. So uh, we decided we would fight in You Be the Judge number three. Fists of Fury. I love these names to these fighting events. They're all ridiculous. But uh, <laughs> we had an actually a really fun time uh, this last weekend. In uh, the great city of Newton, Kansas. Yes, Newton, Kansas, of all places. And uh, we did it over there at the Ultimate Martial Arts Fitness and Fun, which I love that name, too. And uh, Chris Rangel and the crew, they took very good care of us, as they always do. It was a fun, fun show. And we had this guy named Rich Groninger who was going to fight us. Let's see if I can find some photos of this guy. But uh, Rich Grunger, that guy, he uh, he fought us. And uh, we, of course, won with a body shot end. I hit the guy to the body, and it was over. Now, um, we didn't really have much time to prepare because things were kind of hay haywire. So we actually opened the card. We were jerking the curtain, as they say in the world of professional wrestling. But uh, we had a good time. It was a good show. Good show had by all. And uh, Rich and I did a, a fun one. We had a fun one. Uh, these are supposed to be fun, by the way. They're not supposed to be like uh, Jason Klein, the, uh, the, 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 the guy who... You know, I'm going to take my pain, put it into his body, or whatever. Uh, <laughs> supposed to be fun. Supposed to be fun, fun, fun. Look at that. Uh, but here is the photo, if I can get this centered. I'm doing this all on the fly. There's the photo of me and Rich at the weigh-in. And uh, Rich, of course, uh, he is a self-professed redneck. And uh, he went into this thing. He was the redneck swinger. He was the redneck hitter. He was the redneck. He was the cowboy swinger, the cowboy hitter. This guy had a million gimmicks. And uh, I was happy to fight him. It was a good show. Now, I want to I get a few things. We need to get a few things figured out. I was told by our buddy in Texas, Jason Klein. Uh, by the way, that piece of shit um that uh <laughs> he's got a brand new name and uh he, we were told by him that we were going to he was going to make sure that we never fought in another organization ever and all i would have to do is fight in local smokers and then at one point this piece of garbage goes Oh, I'm going to make sure that all you can do is local smokers. So I'm trying to figure out which one it was. But either way, we did a show on Saturday night, had a good time, and uh, we fought Rich Groninger. This guy showed a hell of a lot of heart. Uh, we'll have the video up on the website and everything very soon. Uh, it's also going to be on, the, on on all the social medias and everything as well. But... Uh, that's it. That's what we did Saturday. And who knows? Maybe I'll fight again. Maybe I won't. Uh, maybe I'll try to go do what I've always wanted to do in the month of November. I don't know. I did post a thing the other day that I that we were going to be fighting in New Jersey in a few weeks. That's not happening. I basically put that up so, I, so he would immediately do what I knew he was going to do, which was scour the Internet 
try to find the date, try to find the promoter, and try to screw it up. And I would love to be there when they, when they got that phone call where he's like, you can't let James Loach and Jaguar fight for you. And they're going to be like, who? <laughs> I'm going to constantly do these things where I'm going to make this asshole go do hide-and-go-seek stuff. But uh, that is this segment. We are going to take a brief break. When we come back, we have got a great, great PR strategist coming up. We're going to talk to them. And uh, we got more coming up. It is the big broadcast. Check us out on iHeartRadio each and every day and JiggyJaguar.com. 